Today's video is about the failure of our last race on the racetrack in Sweden. We was supposed to compete in a six hour race, but during the warm up, our drive went away from the car. We suspected something was wrong with our new race diff that has been working perfectly for one race. So we went home on a trailer instead of staying there in victory. And now I have disassembled my diff. And what I found was that the drive shaft here had been pushed out of the diff. And this teeth here has lost its grip. And that's why we didn't have any transmission working. And first we suspected it was the race diff that we have said it's a friction diff. But the, all is intact, everything perfect. And when you put a diff in, when you put the drive shaft into the diff, you have this C clip that I call them that locks in place here and keep the drive shaft into the diff. But when you have this race diff, it doesn't work. So they provide you with a small spring ring. And it's put here. And during the heat or something, it that didn't lock good enough. So the drive shaft pushed out this flang out of the drift diff. I want to avoid that. So I find in my garage 124 Sperr Diffiantar LSD from Germany, original. And these have exactly the same housing that my old diff. But this is like a friction based diff. You see here the friction rings is here, this friction clutch. And the friction clutch gives you about 30% of diff in this locking capacity in this diff. And then there's also from Mercedes added here some oil pressure thing. So if you send in oil here, this will pressurize the clutch and then give you 100% of diff. That is only used and regulated by the car electronics and it's used when you have a slip with your tires. And that's turned off when you're going fast. Only when you start the engine, it does working. So, but problem is that this bolt pattern here is smaller on the newer cars than mine. I have a bigger one. I have the drive shafts in the car. They have a certain length. To get smaller drive shafts with exactly specified length, because this is about 25 or 30 millimeters longer than the old one, that is not so easy. So what I did, I, because it's the same house, the only thing that differs from 124 to 201 is the lid, back lid. Here is with two bolts, 124. This is with four bolts, 201. But they are interchangeable, so they, they just chuk, 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 like that. So now I took these two screws away. And then I took this one up. And then I said, maybe I can push my drive shaft in here. But I see that this one is longer. So, okay, okay. Otherwise, it looks the same, this hydraulic unit here. And then I checked inside here, and here is some oil distribution plate or something like that. Take that away. And now it looks like exactly like my old one. And then I have this seal, oil seal here. That one fits perfect. Then I thought, I maybe change. Maybe I will check this one if it's working. Ha! Huh. And exactly to put the C clip in. So this works actually. It means that I have now converted an LSD hydraulic unit to a standard clutch diff with 30% of force in it. I can race next weekend, over and out.